UAW strike at the Big Detroit 3 could drive a death blow into the domestic car inventory recovery. And we have a hassle-free car buying update for you today, too. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, longtime car buyer's advocate known as the homework guy. Joining me today is the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Not only are we discussing the potential looming UAW strike, but we have some incredibly exciting information to share with you today, too. On the news of a possible strike, according to Automotive News, about 97% of UAW member votes were cast in favor of authorizing a strike. Keep in mind that the vote is a routine part of contract negotiations and does not necessarily mean a strike will occur. UAW members at the Detroit 3 agreed to let the union call a strike if contract talks break down with a September 14th deadline on the horizon. While the vote was hugely in favor of going on strike, as Liz said, it does not necessarily mean that a strike will occur. UAW President Sean Fain said Friday morning on a Facebook live stream, the only way we're ever going to have a better quality of life for ourselves and our families is if we fight for it. Employers don't give higher wages or better benefits out of the kindness of their hearts. They give it because the union bargains and we make them, and that's exactly what 97% of you said you're ready to do. Fain and other union leaders have been preparing workers for a potential strike since negotiations with Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis began last month. Fain said the September 14th expiration of the company's current labor contracts is a deadline, not a reference point. Back in July, CNBC reported that the auto industry was bracing for contentious contract talks as UAW formally kicks off bargaining. At that time, the UAW president vowed to be aggressive in bargaining with General Motors, Ford Motor, and Stellantis for new worker contracts. The union this week is holding practice pickets with workers in Detroit and Louisville, Kentucky, so they're taking this pretty seriously. Wow. The UAW has raised its weekly strike pay to 500 per member and has more than $825 million in its strike fund. So Ooh. it looks like they could last for a little while. Yeah. In 2019, the union struck GM for 40 days, causing production shutdowns that reverberated with dealers and suppliers caught in the crossfire. Support for a strike was slightly higher than the 96% who agreed to let the union call one in 2019. The union needs the support of two-thirds of its members to call a strike. Officials did not say how many of the UAW's 146,000 members at the Detroit 3 voted. That would have been interesting to know. Yeah, Fain has not ruled out going on strike against all three automakers at once. Wow. Wow. If that were to happen, a 10-day strike would result in more than $5 billion in economic losses, according to analysis by Anderson Economic Group. And I might add, put a serious crimp in car inventories that are already challenged. That estimate of losses includes wage losses of $795 million and manufacturer losses of $1.2 billion plus the financial hit to suppliers, dealers, and the auto industry at large, just as Kevin said. UAW officials say they're ready to take a stand against the companies if they refuse to offer fair deals. Stellantis has made astronomical profits over the last decade and recently announced they made a record $12 billion in profits in the first half of this year. UAW Vice President Rich Boyer, who heads negotiations with Stellantis, said in a statement. He continued, This strike vote is a warning to Stellantis. We know the company can afford our demands, and we are united and willing to do what it takes to win them. Showing a bit of frustration, Fain last week said, Negotiations with the automakers were moving too slowly. This isn't just a strike vote, he said August 15th. It's a demonstration of our strength. It's a sign of our unity. It's a statement about our resolve. So if we want to make progress at the bargaining table, we need to show the companies it's not just talk. It's action time, automakers. Also, I want to say that the staff-assisted car deals we started this week are going along good. I'd love to see comments here from those we've already talked to and helped initiate their car deals. Because this has taken more time than we would have liked, Kevin and I and others on our team have decided to launch a call center where you can get live assistance from a member of our team, get your questions answered, and discuss strategies for dealing with dealers in your area. I'm really pumped about that call center. Yeah. Also, I want to say this a bit quietly, but we also have opened the door to other brands of vehicles in Florida. Oh, Kevin, that wasn't anything close to quiet. That was a loud boom. And it speaks volumes about how quickly we are moving now that the floodgates have been opened with the amazing people we are currently working with. Friends, one thing you have come to know about us here at The Homework Guy, and that is, if we are saying we're going to do something, by golly, we get busy and do it. Also, we are connecting around three to four car buyers a day right now to our process, so patience is important on your part. Yes. We take the trust you've put in us very seriously, 
And coming up soon, we will interview the man helping to make all of this possible in Florida. We are also in deep discussion about how to scale this across the U.S., and we believe we have the recipe for success. Believe me when I say this is totally worth waiting for. How would you like to buy your new car near the invoice price again? In this kind of car market, or at a minimum, a few thousand dollars below MSRP. How would you like to never be faced with a high-pressure F&I presentation ever again? How do you like to brag to your neighbors that you just bought a new or used car and had the best purchase experience of your life? Would you like to be able to tell people that? How do you like to walk into a dealership having every number already hashed out so there's no back and forth and it's done to your liking? No unpleasant haggling, no wasted time, and complete transparency? Did you say new or used, Kevin? I did just say that, new or used, but at the moment... Still only in Florida. We're working very diligently on other states rolling in too, and some of the doors have already been kicked open. We hope to have about 15 other states covered very soon. I'll tell you what, we will post a list of the other states and the brands we can get in those states very soon. Watch our website, thehomeworkguy.com, or our Facebook page, also The Homework Guy, for this list coming soon. So let's talk a little bit about how we're getting this done in Florida at the moment. Kevin, we have a man on the ground there right now. Many of you will get the chance to meet him at the dealership where we close the deal for you. It costs you nothing up front to talk to him and you'll get all the info you need to make an intelligent buying decision. There's a small consumer fee you pay at the end, but it's all disclosed to you from day one and you only pay it if you get the car you want at the price you can live with. If anything happens that the deal falls through, you owe nothing. It makes no difference with us involved if you're a cash buyer, by the way. So you can definitely say, I'm paying cash. Keeping cash a secret is only necessary for the ruthless operators out there, which is essentially the bulk of other dealers you encounter on your own. And that's our show for today, friends. We hope you got great value out of this. And I hope we inspired you to keep being patient and wait for us to get to you. We'll hit all of you Toyota customers first, since you were on the list first, and then we'll roll into other brands in other states. As I already said, used cars have come to the table too. For those of you just entering the car market, you should be aware of all the free resources we have for you on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. By the way, if you feel so inclined to show us some appreciation with a donation, we prefer that you do it with a fully tax deductible donation to support our nonprofit to help kids. All credit cards are accepted. The link is on the screen and the description box below. On our website, thehomerguy.com, you'll find a continually improving free car buyer's guide there and a free email template to use with car dealers. There's also a list of fake fees. We just recently added the spreadsheet we did on total car dealer fees by state in the U.S. And there's a download for combating forced add-ons and deceptive pricing. It's all there on thehomerguy.com, free for you to download to use when car shopping. On our website and on our Facebook page is where we'll announce the launch of our call center coming up soon. We totally look forward to that. We're also very excited to say that we'll soon be launching an opportunity for memberships here on YouTube. The memberships will allow for much improved access to both me and Kevin, and we both really enjoy direct contact with our viewers. More on that coming soon. And Kevin, you forgot to tell people we're in the process of writing a book for That's car right. buyers with the help of a staff member, and it will be published first as an ebook. That's right, it will be the best car buyer's manual ever published, and we're getting the involvement of a man who has spent the last decade working directly with dealers and knows their business model inside and out, and even more importantly, he knows exactly where the car market is right now and how you can use useful tools to win on your next car deal. As you can see, there's high value to hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. <laughs> Subscribing is free and painless to you, but it sure helps us out a lot. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we did for you here today. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team in our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. And if you recently joined us as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock and you know it. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.